Hi guys, today I want to show you an alternative app for your iOS device if you don't want to use iTunes for syncing your music. The app is called iDownload Plus. It's here in the lower right corner and I will click it. And yeah, this is actually how the app looks when you um, start it. We just have to wait for the camera to get it sharp. Okay, there it is. Um, the app uh, has several uh, functions, um, but I uh, mainly only use it for playing music. And uh, in the bottom of the screen, you have uh, several tabs that do several things. You have a built-in browser, uh, which you can use for browsing websites. Um, the good thing about this browser is uh, it enables um, ad blocking, so you can uh, surf the web without uh, ads enabled. Uh, then you have downloads, uh, where you can uh, manage all the downloads. The app can uh, download several files from the web very easily and uh, much better than the um, Safari or Chrome browser does it. And then you have uh, the most important uh, part, it's the uh, files uh, tab. And this is the place where all the, mu the music you have uploaded will be. Here is the music that I have uploaded. And then you can just uh, click on something like uh, this and you see all the songs. You click on a song and then it will start playing. Um, the playing looks a little bit similar like on all other iOS uh, music apps. You can play, skip forward, skip backwards. Um, you can set random play or um, shuffle or everything else. And um, here in the left corner, there's a very interesting thing. You can set a sleep timer um, until, uh, like, if you set it to five minutes, it will play music for five minutes and then it will um, sleep. Very handy if you uh, need some music to get asleep. Um, this can be done by that function. And yeah that's for this and oh you may need this i don't need this you can make a ringtone out of every song you have and so and now we are getting a bit to the more interesting features uh, than just playing music because um the main reason for using that app is that you don't want to use itunes to sync your music so if you have this app you just um, can click on settings and scroll a little bit down and down and down and down and there is one uh, point called file transfer it's here if you click on it you have two ways to do it you can uh, select wi-fi and then you will see a browser um, upload file here is the ip which you enter in your browser and then you will see this upload screen in this screen, you can only uh, choose one file uh, per upload, so it's a bit um, uh, a bit tricky if you want to upload more than one song or more than, uh, let's say, five songs. So I uh, prefer another option of uploading files. So we go back to the app here, and we don't select Wi-Fi, we select a Web DAV. And uh, if we have selected Web DAV, we um, will need um, if you're a Windows user, I recommend at least using uh, another app. It's called uh, Carrot DOE. I will show it uh, in a minute. Or if you uh, are working on a Mac, you can uh, just enter um, the IP again in the uh, finder of your Mac. And then you will see that you can just uh, move complete folders, uh, several files at once to this device. I will now uh, show it to you um, using Windows and uh, therefore I've downloaded a program it's called Carrot uh, DAV mainly because the web DAV integration in Windows itself is very bad and uh, it's not real fun using this but with the Carrot DAV app it's, uh, it works a bit similar like uh, using an FTP server um, you just connect to your iPhone by entering uh, this address the app has given us and yeah and that's it and now you can hear just from your windows explorer uh, drag and drop all your music um, to the device and it will upload to the device which you can see here on the right side um, strangely there's um, an error every time you upload something but you can just ignore it and the upload will f work fine anyway so let's wait until this is all uploaded <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so now um, you can turn the file transfer back off. You can also leave it on. It's uh, uh, it's not a problem if you um, don't switch it off, but I will switch it off again. And now if we look at files again, you can see that we have uploaded more files here to this device. So far, that's very good. You don't need any iTunes. You don't even need to have iTunes installed on your uh, PC or your Mac. Um, you can just use this web DAV feature to copy music and our files on your uh, iOS device. What's uh, also very important is um, the app is generally free, but uh, before you can use this web DAV feature, you have to unlock it here. And uh, it's, I think, about, um, I don't know, let me think, I think it was about $1.20, um, around, around uh, 99 euro cents, so not that much expensive, but um, I highly recommend that you also um, use the remove all ads uh, feature, it's about, I think, 199 euros and I think $220, um, because otherwise the app would look totally uh, crazy, there is uh, advertisement everywhere, and after you've bought this, it's um, yeah, it's just simply gone. So basically, you have to invest around uh, three euros um, or three fifty dollars, and then you'll have uh, the perfect alternative for the iTunes app. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, ask them in the comments. And below the video in the description, I've also put some links to um, the app and where you can download the Carrot DAV. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.